Ryan, uh, let's start, though, with your play in the second inning, a play that was overturned on review. You start a relay with an outfield assist to throw Billy McKinney out at the plate. What happened on that play from your vantage point? Yeah, no, it was a great turn. I think uh, Rugi had a, a really good turn on that one for us, so that was a huge, huge advantage. Um, you know, I just saw it was hit hard. Uh, I was running back towards the wall, and it, take, it took a pretty big hop. And I think their third base coach, you know, saw that and wanted to be aggressive there. So, um, yeah, it was just a great turn by everybody involved. So, Ryan, how about your double to lead off the fifth inning? Of course, you scored the only run, a one nothing win. Talk about your at bat there in the fifth inning to lead it off. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was just uh, trying to be aggressive in something in the zone. And uh, it was a little bit on the outer third. He's been kind of throwing those cutters and two seams to us, um, trying to attack us that way. And, you know, just trying to get something in play and hit it hard. So, uh, yeah, it ended up going my way and hustled out of the box and, you know, obviously try to get in scoring position every time. So, yeah, it went our way. You scored the run, Ryan, uh, on a ground ball from Kelvin Gutierrez. It looked like you may have been slightly in Andrus's line of vision. How cognizant were you of that as a base runner? Yeah, I, I took a peek. Um, you know, I, I believe that was first pitch uh, that I bat. And, uh, you know, I had a little bit of an awareness of where the outfielders and infielders are, but those low line drives are one of the toughest reads as a base runner. Um, you know, I just knew the situation and trying to be aggressive there. And, uh, you know, it was a good, uh, good wave by Freddie and, you know, I was able to score. Ryan, talk about this pitching staff. I mean, the big talk in spring training was the pitching staff. John Means goes down about six days ago. Everybody hits the panic buttons. Like, what? how are the Orioles going to cover all these innings? And all of a sudden, I tell you what, it's been some big-time performances, not by the starters only, but by the bullpen as well. It's the number two pitching staff in the American League right now. Yeah, absolutely. You nailed it on the head. I mean, I think the numbers speak for themselves. And it's just, I, I think the attitude there is just incredible. Um, you know, we're being aggressive. We're attacking guys. Um, you know, giving them our best stuff, being prepared, all that, you know, um, you know, credit to our catchers as well. Uh, Robbie and uh, Anthony have been really good back there. Um, but yeah, you know, starting bullpen, all our pitchers have been really dialed in. It's been fun to watch. Ryan, one of those pitchers is Jorge Lopez. You were his teammate most of last season. What is the difference with Jorge this year? You know, I think he's the same guy, um, very positive. I think uh, one of the things is, you know, he took some notes from last year and just came in ready to ready to play ready to pitch well and, and be aggressive and attack guys um, you know it's awesome to see him mentally just being as aggressive as he can and um, executing those pitches in uh, big spots so um, it's been it's been really fun to watch Ryan McKenna who uh, tied a major league record by scoring 100 percent of the runs in today's game Ryan <laughs> congratulations on the win thanks for hopping out with Sounds us good. thanks guys